Hey, Walter Sorrells back with more tips for the knife maker. Today, day two of pulling back the curtain on the making of this, my new Nightfall knife. Uh, this is in my Tactics Armory lineup of knives. Uh, I'll get into the whole Tactics Armory history probably in another uh, chapter, but um, if you're interested in purchasing one of these, tacticsarmory.com. I started yesterday with about 15 laser cut blanks for the nightfall, and yesterday I did several operations on my new Haas CNC machine. Today I'm going to do my best to get finished with all those operations and start grinding. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail about it, probably save that for another chapter, but basically there are about five operations that are done in the, um, in the Haas, the CNC machine, and then everything after that will be done pretty much by hand. All right, so let's jump into it. So the goal for the morning is to finish up the profiling of these blades, then move on to milling the bevels. Yesterday I ran everything at pretty mellow feeds and speeds, actually extremely mellow feeds and speeds, to make sure that I didn't crash the machine, break cutters, any of that sort of thing. Today I can run everything a little faster because I'm confident I'm not having any trouble. So now I've finished up doing the little fillet around the edges and the next thing to do will be probably the single most labor saving part of this whole process which is to lay in the bevels now the bevels i've already done one test here i did this yesterday this is not a finished bevel but it's it's really really close so this saves me a ton of effort what will happen next is I'll grind off this little uh, tab at the end and grind that and then kind of transition, smooth this transition where this little tab comes into the tip of the knife. So uh, in a perfect world, I can be grinding while I'm out there and still running the machine back here. So I'm just kind of going back and forth, getting my 10,000 steps in. So. Uh, that's the plan for the afternoon. In the meantime though, there's a good bit of time between cycles. So while the Haas is cranking away, I can turn my attention to a couple of custom knives I'm working on. One of the trickiest aspects of being your own boss is trying to work efficiently. I think everybody has a weakness for doing stupid busy work that feels productive, but really isn't. I try to resist that and focus on things that are genuinely productive. Organizing your email and stuff like that feels like it's work, but it's really BS. As a small business owner, you can really go broke doing that junk. So the plan here is to jump over to the grinding room, crank away in there, and keep an eye on the light on the Haas. When the green light starts blinking, I'll run on back in there and get the next cycle going. That way, I'm basically doing two jobs at the same time. You know, the other thing you have to watch when you're your own boss is tail chasing. It's the shiny object syndrome. You know, it's real easy to start a million projects and then never finish them. Again, you can go broke doing that. So I try to keep the whip going on myself to actually finish at least most of the stuff I start. You know, there's a fine line between the creative process and self-indulgence, though. I try to be self-aware about it, but sometimes you're just going to fart around a little. If you don't, you really never end up doing anything new and you just sort of end up being a factory worker in a factory that you happen to own. And that's no fun. Hey, if you're enjoying this video or the other knife making videos that I've been making for the past 14 years, yes, that's right, please help this channel by supporting us on Patreon. You know, all these nifty cameras and lights and stuff cost money, and the time that I spend on this video does not begin to be covered by the tiny amount of dough that I get from, you know, ads on YouTube. The more support I get, the more videos that I can put out, the more help I can give you guys. As a way of saying thanks for your support, I make plans for most of my builds available to my subscribers on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Walter Sorrells. 
made pretty good progress. Uh, getting towards the end of the afternoon, I've gotten through the first half of the bevels. In other words, I've beveled one side of all the knives that I've got over here. And uh, so the next thing to do is to flip them over and start going through them again and get the bevels done on the other side. At the same time, as you can see from all the crud all over me, uh, made pretty good progress on the custom knives that I'm working on right now. So it's been working pretty effectively. Been able to crank away over there in the dirty room, the grinding room, you know, get a lot of grinding done. At the same time, I just monitor that little green light and as soon as it starts flashing, come back in, put in the next knife. So now I'll pull up the program for the other side. I'll pull down the rapids really, really slowly so that I don't do something dumb and crash the uh, tool. And assuming that everything looks good, then I can start ramping it back up and start running everything a lot faster. All right, so wrapping up for the day, I managed to get about a third of the knife blanks actually taken all the way to completion, I mean, of the CNC part of it. So they got bevels on both sides and uh, they're ready to go to grinding, which I'll start doing tomorrow. So anyway, I feel like that was pretty good progress for the day. Also made good progress on a couple of custom knives. So as I've said, the, the thing that I'm really trying to do here is to be able to have that CNC machine running while I'm doing other tasks and I can operate a little more efficiently that way. So, so far so good. All right, we'll be back tomorrow with another episode showing the finishing of those knives and on to grinding. Thanks for watching guys. If you like what we're doing here, please subscribe and make sure that you click on that bell so you get notified of all the latest videos. Want to buy a knife from me? Check out my modern blades at tacticsarmory.com. Digging the channel? You can support our video making efforts on Patreon. You know, I've been banging away on these videos for like 10 years, so I hope you'll show some love for all that hard work. Link in the cards and descriptions. Finally, if you're interested in making Japanese swords, check out my full line of Japanese sword videos where I show how to forge Japanese swords as well as how to polish them and how to make fittings, handles, and scabbards. WalterSorrelsBlades.com